Also new tonight, we're hearing from Dr. Ronnie Floyd. This after he was named in a new report that criticized the response of Southern Baptist Convention leaders regarding reports of clergy sex abuse. Let's bring in 4029's Paul Petit joining us live at Crosschurch right now in Rogers. This is where Floyd pastored for 27 years before joining the SBC. Hey, Paul. Indeed he did. Hey, Paige, yeah, this 288-page uh, independent report from Guidepost says the Southern Baptist Convention basically stonewalled and denigrated survivors of clergy sex abuse for almost two years. As you mentioned, Ronnie Floyd pastored here for 27 years before becoming the leader executive of the SBC Executive Committee. Then he resigned just two years later. The Guidepost investigative report says survivors and other concerned Southern Baptists repeatedly shared allegations with Floyd's executive committee, only to be met time and again with resistance and stonewalling, typically due to concerns over liability. The report also says Floyd tried to prevent the motion for the investigation from being introduced or approved at the Nashville convention. But in a statement to 4029, Dr. Floyd said, quote, we did not resist the motion. The only question about the motion was the waiving of attorney-client privilege, which was unprecedented in any motion ever adopted. I supported the independent investigation. I also hired Guidepost to do it even before the 2021 convention. Dr. Floyd is also attached to statements throughout the report of victims claiming a slow or lack of response to their stories of abuse by clergy. In his statement to 4029, Floyd says, quote, the thought of any sexual abuse done to anyone abhors me, and every executive committee staff member who is serving with me, along with the trustees that I know, has been united in our desire to care for people while at the same time doing what we have been asked to do by the convention. Now that report comes out just one month before the next annual Southern Baptist Convention in Anaheim, California. The report also suggests the SBC set up an independent commission, uh, also establish an offender database, and offer more education. We're live in Rogers, Paul Petit, 4029 News.